It's Saturday morning, and the first thing I do on almost every Saturday morning is I check Craigslist and see what garage sales, what moving sales, estate sales, and that sort of thing are happening. Because one thing that I do is I'm an eBay seller, so I find stuff to buy, you know, inexpensively and then sell at a profit on eBay. And I'm also looking for things for my art, and that could be wood, tools, paint, whatever. So anyway, um, I was looking on Craigslist and I see that there's a sale up in Oakview and it said they have free scrap wood. And it also said they had tools and other stuff, but I was mostly interested in the free scrap wood. So I drove up there and it's like seven miles from my house. I live in Ventura, California, for those of you who don't know. But anyway, I drove up there and it was basically like, I could see I didn't want it right away. So I didn't even look that close, but it was like, rotten two by eights that were probably like 15 foot long and they had joist hangers on them and it looked like a dump run to me it wasn't what i would consider scrap wood scrap wood to me is small pieces of still usable wood but what they had was they had a dump run so i didn't even look that close i just i was bummed out and i drove away so then i went to the post office to drop off a couple of things that i sold on ebay yesterday and then I went to the thrift store and then I'm driving down Ventura Avenue on my way home and I see on the side of the road there was a sign that said free wood with a pile of wood behind it. And I've got most of that wood right here. So as I was loading it, and I loaded it fairly quickly, I didn't take my time to look closely at each piece, but I did notice one 4x4 that looked like it had a lot of potential to make a piece of art out of. And I'm going to cut it up and see if I can make an art project out of it.
What this art piece represents to me is the spirit of freedom. And a lot of times I don't say what I see in the art or what it means to me or whatever, because a lot of my artwork's abstract and I want each person who looks at it to see it the way they want to see it and put whatever meaning to it that they want to put to it and really just enjoy it the way they want to enjoy it without me having any influence on that. But in this case here, I'm going to tell you guys what I see. I see a man breaking through a wall, holding a piece of the wall in his left hand, celebrating freedom. Or maybe it's not a man, but some some type of character. You know what I mean. So, so allow me to interrupt 2021, so Scott. Free. You know, I did finish this project a couple years ago, basically, 2021. And the reason I didn't release it is actually because I just wasn't sure how much I was loving it. And that's honest, I mean, but I've actually had this piece in my office for the last couple years and it's really grown on me and I really do like it a lot now. I mean, you know, when I first made it, I thought, eh, is it good enough to do a video of? I don't know. But now that I've been looking at it for a couple years, I've decided I really like the piece. So yeah, so let's zoom in on it and take a closer look at it. Nothing we can do 